While presenting a report on the screening of the nominees at the plenary for consideration, the Chairman's Senate Committee on Foreign Affairs, Mansura Tsumonu, said certain requirements were taken into account while assessing the nominees. Namely, appearance, composure, presentation, special skills, issues of diplomacy and general knowledge. At the Committee of the Whole, the Senators confirmed 45 of the nominees after being satisfied with their qualifications, characters and general performance. The nominee from Ondo was rejected on grounds of security report by the DSS, while that of Imo State was rejected on account of old age. Some Senators commented on those rejected. He is strong. He visited my office several years. I am surprised that he is being rejected on the basis of age. I've read what is written about the Ondo State nominee number 45 at page 44. And the analysis of his appearance, for me, is, is, a, in contra, is, is contradictory to the conclusion. Senate President Bukola Saraki called on nominees to be exemplary in their behavior at their various places of postings and reiterated the need for proper funding of Nigerian embassies across the globe. So I think that to be advisable as they are being posted, that government can ensure that they can clear the outstandings that are due to this mission. We wish them all the best and hope they continue to do great service to our country. Raising a point of order, Senate Leader Ahmed Lawal expressed great concern over the spate of terrorist attack on the legislature across the globe, citing the recent Westminster mishap in London as an example. Terrorism is no longer a local issue of any country, but that all terrorist attacks on any one country is attack on all who cherish freedom from oppression and the right to live free. Report of the Senate Committee on Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, on a bill for an act to amend the Electoral Act was also considered. From the National Assembly, Kuzir Zayan, NT News.